Hello, and welcome to the second video of how to use a controller slash gamepad. This video is a touch more difficult than the last one, but because it doesn't really involve anything in combat, you can do it in your own time. This video is more revolving around editing your ship computer screens and your third person camera controls, and free look. I hope you find this video useful and that you learn something new out of it. Now the first thing up is getting out of your ship, now pressing left button or modifier 1 and double pressing B gets you out of your seat. I forgot to add that in the last video and I'm going over it now. Now pressing Y activate your inner fort system which is the accept button. Now we've got that out of the way, ta-da, we can now go over what I stated at the start of the video that we're going to do. Now the next thing we're doing is free look. What free looks is allows you to look around your ship, so pressing your right stick in or your right analog stick allows you to look right, up, left, any direction you would like. You also lose any flight control you would normally have with your right stick. The next thing on the agenda is how to change and look at your ship display, MFT, it's called a few different things. To do this, you press in and hold your right stick, like so. To change and zoom in to which display you want to look at, you press your D-pad changing through by pressing whichever direction you have to go to next. Now this next part is going to look a little strange as I have to claw the gamepad to actually do this. Now you press your right stick in and go to what screen you want to change. As you can see I'm having issues. And you press A on that screen to change it. Note I have to switch back and forth between two screens to actually allow that little key button to pop back up so I can actually change it properly. You can do this to all screens having issues and that's the screen I prefer which is radar. Um, this is also the standard Gladius middle screen. This next bit if you press right on your gamepad, accidentally press left, you select your closest friendly. I'm going to go over that later but what I'm showing now is that you can zoom into the screen and see all the details of the ship. You can do this while flying forward, not very good to do in combat though. At the moment you can't do this, but you should in the future be able to go to the middle screen and actually change your weapon groupings. Using the left stick you can actually move around the mouse, or the cursor, but as this game is currently in alpha that functionality is not currently in. It was at one stage but now it's not. Issues. Now camera controls. To actually go for your camera controls let me quickly check from a free look, nope. You press your left button or left modifier, modifier 1, and press up on your d-pad. This view is your third person view which will always follow you at this position. The next view is your frontal view which can be changed but I'll show you that in a second. The last view is cockpit view so you just look around your cockpit. This is also can be changed but give me a second. Now to go back to the secondary view now in this view if you press your right stick in to go to free look you can control your camera. 360 around your ship. And then if you go close to the pad you actually zoom in, but when you're in space this does not happen. And as you can see I'm slowly just going around my ship, looking around and admiring the beauty of what is the Aegis Dynamics Vanguard Warden. Best ship in the game, according to me. And yeah. I'm going to show you a trick with this and I'll show you in a second. Now back to cockpit view. You can do the same thing here, look around, admire the warden, it's majesty, it's beauty. But here's the fun bit. I'm going to take off here and switch back to the Avra camera. What that will allow me to do is see the ship from the third person above the pad because it actually saves my location where I last had that camera. See? Now I can slowly land but I also have control of the camera at the moment. So when I turn left or right with my camera, I won't move the ship, I'll just slowly rotate my camera around my ship. As you can see, it slightly glitches into the pad. Be careful with that. Thank you for watching part 2 of how to use a controller slash gamepad for Star Citizen. Citizen. My English is bad, you have no time to have to re-record re this. Anyway. Hopefully you found some new information if you do use a gamepad or some information you like to use if you're going to start using a gamepad. Hopefully you watch the next videos which will show more in 
different t tricks and tips of how to use it and I hope you enjoyed the video and screw doing an outro because I'm far too bloody lazy